Hello friends, welcome to the Seated Scribe, a channel where we discuss pens and writing and I am Rudrashish Dotto. Friends, today's revisit series will focus on what is currently my grail pen. Purchased at a premium just before the pandemic set in in 2020, this pen coming from the house of Visconti in Italy has a number of firsts to its credit in the fountain pen world even today one of which is its unique composition of a proprietary mix of resin and lava from Mount Etna. Well, it is my grail pen, not because of its price alone, but because it's a living proof of what innovation and imagination can do to fountain pen manufacturing. Almost every aspect of the pen, as we shall see, bears a stamp of a unique personality which I shall ravel, unravel one by one as I scan the pen before my camera. So friends, without any further delay, let us go to my three-year-old Visconti Homo sapiens Bronze Age in a medium nib. Well friends, this is the Visconti Homo sapiens Bronze Age in a medium nib that I will be examining in closer detail. There are several aspects of the pen, friends, which, as I have said in the introduction, are unique in their own ways, uh, including, of course, the proprietary material with which this pen is made. Now, the company Visconti, which is based out of Italy, claims that this pen is handmade from hardened basaltic lava sourced from Mount Etna Volcano in Italy with trims made of solid bronze and clearly this lava pen if I may call it is well it's virtually unbreakable as they claim and it's warm to touch and is slightly hygroscopic in other words it absorbs moisture slightly not a bother, bothersome absorption from the fingers onto this body and in due course of time I have found that this basaltic lava mixed with resin body do develop a patina of its own especially in the areas where the fingers are in touch with the pen when in use. So the nib of the pen is a large sized 18 karat gold nib and with that unique and beautiful Visconti design. Well the pen that I have is a medium nibbed pen. The feed of the pen is plastic. Well, with regard to the locking mechanism of the pen, if I can focus it for you, it's neither a snap cap method nor a threaded method, but there are grooves, specially designed grooves like this, which actually fit into the grooves of the inner section of the cap. This is something what they call the hook safe mechanism that is we put it in make a gradual clockwise twist and then the pen is locked shut. In other words there is no hazard whatsoever of uns accidental unscrewing of the pen and while opening we need to put in some pressure make an anti-clockwise turn and the pen opens right so this aspect is clearly unique to Visconti we do not get this hook safe mechanism in other fountain pens now with regard to the Bronze, solid bronze band we have this 
inscription of homo sapiens on it and nothing else and if you can have an idea of the texture the basaltic lava resin mixed texture it is not entirely smooth neither it is a matte finished one but it has a very special solid feeling of well a texture that has developed a patina of its own and this is a very very important section of the barrel which is actually used to ink up this pen because this is a vacuum filler now to give you a demonstration of this this section is well around four rotations this is pulled up creating a vacuum inside and incidentally this is made of pure titanium so uh, i have used visconti this pen in pigmented inks as well the iron gall inks as it is as it was commonly called and i have never had an issue with or a worry that these sections which would remain in contact with the ink would erode or get somehow disturbed over time and as you can see even this section is very very solidly manufactured so once this section the, this section is put into the ink port we push it in and at this point the vacuum pops the ink is drawn in and this is twist shut so this is the homo sapiens bronze age now with regard to the cap the finial is actually a changeable finial uh, well we can the finial as you can see has that characteristic v of visconti and this section can be changed and in fact suppliers across the world do offer customization with regard to these sections to potential buyers now with regard to the clip this is a spring loaded bronze solid bronze clip containing the words word visconti and incidentally the shape of the clip is reminiscent of the ponte vecchio bridge a 14th century bridge in italy uh, which still exists uh, today and uh, and at both ends we have visconti embossed over solid bronze there are two solid bronze bands and this section too feels very very formidable i mean the um, uh, cap section and well with regard to the inside of the cap there is again a jacket which actually air locks this part when it is put in and thereby these pens usually start immediately even when placed or kept unused for a long time this, this is an airtight section and there is another aspect which i would like to draw your attention to friends it is the gripping section as you can see the gripping section is modeled as a gentle arch 
couching the fingers to a very very comfortable grip so this is a pen which is not light by any standard it's either the 18 karat gold nib or the solid bronze trims or the resin mixed basaltic lava it's not a light pen but nevertheless this unique gripping section renders a comfort that uh, clearly um, gives pleasure even under prolonged writing sessions friends i'll take a weight of the pen to give you an idea of how the dry weight of the pen is well uh, when uninked the pen The pen weighs a comfortable 29.9 grams plus minus a uh, plus 2 grams uh, with the ink because the ink container as I found out is quite formidable in this particular pen. So it's a 30 gram writing section of the pen. The cap weighs well 18.17 grams, 18 grams approximately. So this is the pen in brief. Now I will be inking this pen up with colorverse blue black and see how the pen fares under actual writing circumstances before the camera. Well I have been using this pen uh, consistently for the last couple of years and neither the weight nor the material of the pen nor the gripping section nor the larger nib have been a bother to me even under extended writing circumstances but nevertheless i'll give you a short writing sample to give you an idea of how the 18 karat gold nib of this pen fares well friends i have inked up this pen with color verse blue black and I'll be using this pen on a 100 GSM paper to give you an idea as to how the pen fares because there has been issues with the nib of Visconti even when I was buying this pen some three years back there have been reviews or mixed reviews of Visconti pens being very poor starters or having baby bottoms as it were but uh, this pen as I had confirmed is an in-house manufacturer of Visconti unlike the previous generation of nibs which were outsourced so I guess Visconti had taken these negative feedbacks into their stride and has built in an in-house nib manufacturing process uh, and have done away with outsourcing nibs so i guess visconti homo sapiens bought from 2019 onwards would have nibs which are manufactured in-house i have had no issue with this nib whatsoever it during my use of this pen so now let me take a writing sample Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age in a medium nib with a rose gold nib in 18K so well the writing experience is very very smooth in fact i don't even get that sense of a feedback that i customarily get in most fountain pens that i use not even a hint of a feedback we do get an idea that this is a pen which is formidable and has well 
maybe slightly above normal weight but otherwise this is a pen that ticks all the right boxes and with well with regard to whether this 18 karat gold nib has some flex i did not detect any flex whatsoever in the three years that i have used so this pen cannot actually be effectively used for calligraphy style writing it's fairly stiff to use and since it's an 18 karat nib it would be perhaps unfair and even risky to press this part or subject this part to undue pressure so this is not a pen that is meant for a calligraphy type writing so this is visconti homo sapiens currently my grail and well it's likely to stay as my grail for quite some more time now there is another aspect which I would like to tell you. I have often heard and seen queries as to whether this particular pen can be used posted. Well friends, this pen posts very securely. It, it posts very securely. But I do get a hint that posting this rather oversized pen can back weight this pen leading to a needless stress on this part of the hand so even for large hands i don't think this pen would require posted writing so this is it visconti homo sapiens bronze age in a medium nib which has been with me for the last three years and thank you friends for watching this review i'll be back with another unboxing next sunday till then stay safe and goodbye